In a previous video, we solved Laplace's equation in two dimensions, including boundary conditions in the x direction where v is equal to 0 at 0 and a, and we came up with this general solution. But what we want to figure out now are what are the c sub n's and d sub n's. In order to move forward, what we need to do is we need to use the boundary conditions now in the y direction. We've used the boundary conditions in the x direction to simplify that function. Okay, so in the y direction, at y equal to 0 down here, the v is equal to 0. So let's put y equal to 0 here in our solution. So we have sine of n pi over a x, c sub n plus d sub n. So the only way this is 0 is if c sub n is equal to minus d sub n. Okay, so then we can rewrite our general solution, which is not quite so general anymore v of x and y is sum from n equal 1 to infinity, sine of n pi over a x, pull out c sub n, and then I have e to the n pi y over a, e to the minus n pi y over a. But this combination here actually looks very familiar. It's actually a cinch function, or very close to a cinch function, where cinch is e to the n pi y over a minus e to the minus n pi y over a times 1 half. Okay, so let's rewrite our solution now in a slightly more compact way. We have a sum from n equal 1 to infinity, sine of n pi over a x, c sub n twiddle, cinch of n pi y over a, where c sub n twiddle now includes maybe a factor of 2. Okay, let's impose our other boundary condition at y equal to b. So at y equal to b, our boundary condition is v is equal to v naught. And so now we put y equal to b in our solution here, sine of n pi x over a, c sub n twiddle, cinch of n pi over a b. OK, and now we need to solve this. Well, let's notice that all of this business here, the c tw and twiddle cinch, are just constants. So let's rename that b sub n and rewrite what we have. So then we have v0 is the sum from n equal 1 to infinity, b sub n sine of n pi over a x. Oh wait, that looks a lot like a Fourier series. And it's a Fourier series where we just need to solve for the b sub n. Okay, and we actually know what the solution for the b sub n are. I'm just going to jump to that. So b sub n are 2 over a, integral from 0 to a, v0 times sine of n pi over a x dx. And we could do this integral, so you get 4 over n pi v naught if n is odd, or 0 if n is even. But recall b sub n, this thing we called b sub n, is really c sub n twiddle times cinch of n pi over a b. So then we can solve for the c sub n twiddle, which is really what we're after. So c sub n twiddle is 1 b sub n uh, over the cinch of n pi over a b. Um, or rather, for n odd, it's 4 v naught over n pi cinch of n pi over a b. And 0 if n is even. So now we can plug this into our solution up above for c sub n twiddle to get our final solution for v of x and y. So v as a function of x and y is now the sum from n equal 1 to infinity, 4 over n pi for n odd, v0, sine of n pi over a x. And then we have cinch of n pi over a y divided by cinch of n pi over a b. That 1 over cinch, remember, came from the c sub n twiddle. And this is our total solution to the Laplace's equation in two dimensions subject to these boundary conditions. Quite a bit of work, uh, but OK, so that's the general approach. And now we can imagine doing other boundary conditions uh, and solving similar types of problems.